Hey guys, it's Amanda. If you're new here, I'm an American living in the UK, and I post about my life and experiences living here, as well as these weekly reactions requested by all of you. Today, I'm going to be watching Ricky Gervais. I'm a big fan of him. I think he's a brilliant writer and comedian. So let's see what this is all about. I, uh, I hope I haven't offended anyone with any of the uh, subject. No, I do. I do. That's not the point. I don't try and offend. If I have offended anyone, and I'm sure I have, I don't apologize. Um, no, I think you should. You have to be able to justify everything you do. And I just think that a comedian should take you to taboo places you haven't been before. Otherwise, you could do it yourself. There's enough anodyne comedy out there just doing things, obvious stuff that, you know, doesn't make you know, any, any difference at all. And there's this spate of comedians saying sorry when they go too far. I just think, you know, you should... They go, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Well, you should have known better then. It's, there's also a witch hunt at the moment with people saying, oh, is there anything you shouldn't make a joke about? No, there's nothing you shouldn't joke about. It depends what the joke is. Unfortunately, in today's world, not everyone agrees with him, but I do. Yes, sometimes comedians may test the boundaries or take it right to the edge. But at the end of the day, it's a joke, and it should be taken as such. Comedy comes from a good or a bad place, and it's for you to decide what, what that is. And I, I think that there's a big debate about sick jokes, or comedians doing sick jokes. Now, the thing about sick jokes, when we tell a sick joke, it's with the express understanding that neither party is really like that. I wouldn't tell a sick joke to a known pedophile. I wouldn't go, here, yeah, mate, you're going to fucking love this more than anyone, son. It's not... <laughs> and I've never been in trouble for anything I've said in my professional career because I refuse to apologise. What can they do to you? you know, growing up, you know, you try, try things out and you get taken the wrong way a, a little bit. Not like the dolphin. I mean, you know, not... <laughs> when I was about... 23, 24, um, me and my girlfriend met up with this other couple. They'd moved down from the north of England to London. They used to come in the place I used to work, and we had a couple of drinks with them. They were cool people and they were fun. And um, uh, after we'd met them a couple of times, they invited us to a party at their house. Um, we went along. One, it was a dinner party, which they hadn't warned us about. Um, but two, it was for their family that had come down from the north to see how they were getting on. And it was both that said parents and grandparents and great uncles, uh, average age about 85, right? And I think we were an afterthought. We thought, oh, oh, oh God, we don't know anyone our own age. Oh, that Ricky and Jane, right? So we went along, and we were still getting to know them, so we just spoke to them all night. We didn't really mingle with the, with the older uh, uh, people. And um, as I say, we use comedy as a sword and a shield and a medicine, but usually as a getting to know you, okay? We use comedy to break the ice. Are you like-minded? What can you take? What do you like? And I've always sort of pushed the boundaries a little bit to try and make people laugh at things they didn't think they could. But, you know, uh, but then, uh, you know, everything turns out okay, I suppose. And I started off lightly. I told this joke. Um, why did the little girl fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet. Um, and they laughed a little bit louder than that. There was only two of them, so thanks, right? <laughs> no, so I thought, okay, they get it. They laugh, so, and so you up the ante a little bit. I don't, you push. And I told this joke. Oh, I need a drink. <sighs> Start the car, seriously? Right. <laughs> I told this joke. Made sure the old people couldn't hear. Like that. I went, okay. Father, sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. This little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? Yeah, a man came along. And he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? None of it was your fault. But tell daddy every detail. What happened? Um... He took me behind a tree so no one could see what we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, we'll make something up. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Don't tell anyone that. I want it to be a surprise. Um, so I told that joke, carried on, getting a bit drunk, telling jokes. So eventually, we sat down for the meal at about quarter to ten. They put two tables together, and the host sat at either end, and they put me in the middle, opposite this very sweet but very deaf sort of 80 year old man. So, conversation was a bit stilted. And after about 20 minutes, Ian, one of the hosts, pipes up and says, Oh, Ricky, tell that joke. I went, What? <laughs> All the old people went, Oh, we love jokes. Do you? I looked at Ian, Ian went, be fine. I went, OK. And he got on with his conversation. And so they're all like that. I went, um... Oh, f uh, f <laughs> Father sitting at home reading the paper. <laughs> Little girl comes running, told the whole joke, got to the bit, well, make something up. They went, <clears throat> silence. I looked at Ian, he went, <laughs> not that one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't even... Imagine being sat around a dinner table, loads of people around, and him make that joke. I just imagine jaws dropped. No one probably knew what to say. Absolutely brilliant. I will admit, I was wondering where that joke was going, but I love Richie Mace. I think he is hilarious. What is your favorite thing that he's done? whether it be like stand-up or a certain show, whatever, let me know in the comments. Remember to keep the recommendations coming, and I'll keep watching. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.